Eh has decided to go Falcon. Yeah, I was just talking about that actually. He's yeah. like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like, go Falcon. It's ice climbers. You might not win, but you definitely won't win a Sheik, so... Yeah, for sure, especially against Nintendo's Ice Climbers. Okay, what? And they go ahead and they start off on Fountain. Why? Game number one. Hats, Falcon versus Nintendo's Ice Climbers. This is generally regarded as a bad Falcon stage, but... You know, Hats not against it. I mean, if he doesn't mind it, then go for it. Nice knee. He might have even gotten rid of uh, Popo there. Goes for wow, down smash good and... stuff. Already takes a quick stock. Yeah, with that down smash. Good air dodge. Yeah, very that good. This is his only option. And just down airs through the the ice climbers up air, right through their hammers. That's crazy. That's good timing. It looks like a hat strategy is camp, camp the platforms. The yeah. Not a bad strategy. I mean, <laughs> if you win, then you take those. <laughs> He's really just camping the top. He's up. just gonna wait up there. <laughs> oh. And I guess if he keeps throwing out these stomps, like one or both of the ice climbers are going to be taking damage. So you just keep doing it, Hat. Really, well, all ice climbers can minutes. do is like jump up with with an aerial. Like, up air is the best one, and then back air after that. That's what we just seen Nintendo doing. Yeah. Oh, good work from now. Oh, Falcon okay. kick, not that good. I think if you down down smash ice climber shield, like it pushes them away, so it's hard to punish. But that time. Mike was ready for it, and he did not miss the punish. He got the down smash. Good knee. Gets Nana oh and gosh. actually has them split. Can he get rid of no. Nana? Apparently <laughs> impossible to kill. Uh, fun fact, the backwards kick of Falcon's down smash is stronger than the front one. <laughs> Can we talk about how he's thrown out like six down smashes in this game? Like, yeah, actually. That's not actually and a like good 18, move. 18 stomps. Yeah. I mean, you know, it covers the front of you and the back of you. Like, I love how he's like up against Sopo, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll just camp him out." <laughs> Sopo got to run away, man. Impossible actually, matchup. Actually, like, I, I, okay, yeah, I'm, I actually have a 64 matchup for God. Oh, you're gonna jump out right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. dang. Okay. All right. Well, you're not gonna miss out on any uh, exciting gameplay. Nintendo dudes, Sopo against Hats Campy Falcon. And he's just going to retreat right on back to that top platform. He's going to keep doing it. There he goes. Stay up there, Hat. If you want to beat Nintendo, this is apparently the way you got to do it. <laughs> Made and then the mix-up is when Nintendo thinks he's going for the top platform, and then he doesn't. I think Hat is actually willing to time him out from this position. I think he's actually not going to go in against Popo. What? Falcon. <laughs> Falcon death. That's what that was. So Hat thinking to himself, yeah, if I can if I can make him sit on, on Popo for five minutes, he'll only get 14 seconds with both climbers, and then he can't wobble me. A genius strategy. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive this is going to eight minutes at the way this game is going. Just the way Hat has been playing it. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on, we're playing a neutral game all of a sudden. Oh, never mind. Good tech, though. All right, he gets rid of uh, Popo. Here, here comes Nintendo. I think Hat's face says it all. If we had a replay cam for Hat, that would have been worth just putting, showing his face. Good read from Nintendo. In. And now uh, Hat has the disadvantage, so we're not going to eight minutes anymore. Hat has to get the advantage back, so camping actually makes sense. He needs to get rid of Nana. Oh, do we see a wobble? No, he just goes for down smash. And this could be it. Good Falcon kick, gets his jump back, and that'll do it. So yeah. At SDs and uh, kind of falling apart right now. Good up air though through the platform. <laughs> Falcon kick, new meta. Hat has been putting out every weird Falcon move that exists in this game. He's done so many down smashes, like three Falcon kicks, like in neutral. Oh, good Nair. Can he get... He's got him separated. He, oh, no. He F-smashed into the invincible Nana from the belay. And the second belay, not going to get the kill quite yet. Not on a fast follower like Falcon. But that will do it with some wonky DI. Nintendo two stocks hat. And after the SD, he just kind of fell apart. And let's see what the counter pick is for game two. Well, what hat could have done better? I mean, he was doing so well for a good chunk of that match. He was making Nintendo come to him, and that's exactly what he wanted. Camping that top platform... Just Sopo. 
He's gonna end up switching to Fox. He's gonna switch to Fox Falcon Roy Peach, Marth. He won't go Yoshi. He won't. He's thinking about it. He won't. Go Ness! <laughs> He's like, what possible character can I select that will win me this game? Alright, let's see what happens. The fox comes out. Falcon wasn't cutting it. Let's switch to Fox. Hat. Saying, let's see if I can go Fox on Yoshi's and get a quick easy win. Let me do this chillin' dude style and just break up the ice numbers in the first 10 seconds. And that's how you do it. Dare to shine. Get as many dare shines in as you can. Oh. Great damage from Nintendo. I feel like Hat's trying to camp the top platform, but it doesn't necessarily work if you're at a disadvantage. Up Smash doesn't even kill Nana. I'm surprised at how little percent she has. I feel like she just teleported across the map. Did I just, like, see that right? Alright, I mean, roll on stage, roll off stage, get down smashed. Good stuff, Hat. I feel like he's just kind of panicking at this point. He gets the S-Smash on Popo, or on Nana, sorry. And now he's just looking for a way to end the stock so we can make it an even three. And that's going to be it for Popo. There it is. Three stocks apiece. And he takes that three damage. These up tilts catching Hats landing are so smart. Again with these up tilts. They're so good. He's not even going to... Oh! With the re-grab? Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. <laughs> Nintendo showing off some new tech. Uh, I can kill you once and catch you, and then kill you a second time. And it's basically worth two stocks. It's like that Smash 4 glitch where you just die twice. Uh, got him on a platform. Good get-up attack from Hat, though. Good awareness. And he's going to up air Nana off the top, so he can still bring this back. Just needs to get rid of Popo, but Nintendo Sopo is unreasonably good. It almost doesn't make sense. Good. He's got an edge guard opportunity. He's gonna let Hat go back to the ledge. Got a little tech chase situation. Oh, he meant to down smash that uh that illusion. Just didn't come out in time. And the back air? Wow, he misses the back air. That's like one of Nintendo's favorite things to do as Sopo is back air a recovering fox. Two stocks apiece, good up smash from Hat. He has a lot of work to do, though, if he wants to bring this back 100% already on him. And edge guard situation for Nintendo. Goes right to the ledge. Nana takes the hit while Popo takes the ledge. Genius, genius strats. <laughs> for some reason, Nana rolled, and it made that look especially sweet, but he didn't get anything for it. And terrible DI on the down smashes. Nintendo just waits on stage, doesn't get the punish. And goodbye, hat. GG's. Side B's right off the stage. Quick 2 0 for Nintendo. Dude, the Falcon, the Falcon would have worked. Falcon would have worked if you believed harder. Uh, you didn't believe in the Fox, though. You believed in the Falcon, you didn't believe in the Fox. All right, so let's see what other matches we got coming up next on stream. Saying how to.